Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Pastor Courtney here, and I am outside enjoying this beautiful weather today. I was just looking at my bird feeder over here and seeing so many little birds coming to eat, and it reminded me of Kids Church last Sunday. We had probably at least a dozen prayer requests for dogs, cats, all sorts of pets. <laughs> and, you know, we pray for every single one. And that's not just because the kids ask, but it's because God cares. God cares about the birds at the bird feeder and God cares about every pet. And I believe just like he knows us, he knows their names because nothing is too small for God to care about it. And I just wanted to share that thought with you this morning, that God loves us so much. And we know that because he sent his son Jesus to die for us. But sometimes I think we forget how much God also cares how much God cares for us, how nothing is too small for us to bring it to him. And our children know that. They're used to being cared for. They're used to asking for help. And as parents, I know part of our job is to help our children become more independent. But I think sometimes as we grow up, we think that independence has to apply to God too, that we can't bring him every little thing because there's some things we should be able to take care of on our own. And there is some wisdom in that. God uses us in different situations to do different things and bring things about. But I think also that it's a good reminder today through these birds and the prayer requests for those pets that God wants us to bring everything to him. That just like our children know that God can and he will, that when we bring small things to him and allow him to do the miraculous in something small, He's glorified in that, just the same as he is glorified in something huge. Mm. And so this morning, I want to share with you just a passage that we probably know well from the Sermon on the Mount, but I'm going to share it from the Storybook Bible, which, you know, is one of my favorite ways to read scripture. And it reminds us about how much God cares for us. It says, see those birds over there, Jesus said. Everyone looked. Little sparrows were pecking at seeds along the stony path kind of like my bird feeder today. Where do they get their food? Perhaps they have pantries all stocked up, cabinets full of food. Everyone laughed. Who's ever seen a bird with a bag of groceries? <laughs> no, Jesus said, they don't need to worry about that because God knows what they need and he feeds them. Mm. And what about these wild flowers? Everyone looked, all around them flowers were growing Anemones, daisies, pure white lilies. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? Or do they work every day so they can buy them? Do they have closets full of clothes? Everyone laughed again. Who's ever seen a flower putting on a dress? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them in royal robes of splendor. Not even a king is that well-dressed. They had never met a king, but as they gazed out over the lake, glittering and sparkling below them, the hillsides dressed in reds, purples, and golds, they felt a great burden lift from their hearts. They could not imagine anything more beautiful. Little flock, Jesus said, you are more important than birds, more important than flowers. The birds and the flowers don't sit and worry about things, and God doesn't want his children to worry either. God loves to look after the birds and the flowers, and he loves to look after you too. God knew or Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over the world he had made, everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, everything, and most of all, his children. Even though people had forgotten, the birds and the flowers hadn't forgotten, and they still knew their song. It was the song of all God's creation had sung to him from the very beginning. It was the song people's hearts were made to sing. God made us. He loves us. He is very pleased with us. It was why Jesus had come into the world to sing that wonderful song, to sing it not only with his voice, but with his whole life, so that God's children could remember it and join in and sing it too. And the song that I want to share with you today is that God cares. He cares for you so deeply, so greatly. And as we look around and see the beauty he is adding through the springtime and the way he cares for all creatures, let us just be reminded that he cares for us today. Jesus, I thank you, God, 
for your heart. I thank you for the song you created for us to sing with our life, for the birds to sing, for all of creation, God, for the pets, Lord Jesus, that glorify you. I thank you, God, that you care, that even in the smallest thing, God, you can do the miraculous and you are glorified in it. And I pray, Jesus, today we'd be reminded, God, that we can bring everything to you, Jesus, and trust you in it and ask for your help. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you guys so much and hope you have a wonderful day.